Continue reading the explanation by Blessed Fephilact of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Name the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted by the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be, that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but every word of God. And the devil, taking him up unto a high mountain, shall, showed, him, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world, in the moment of time, and the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, in the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Explanation. The Lord was baptized that he might sanctify the water for sake of ours who would enjoy this gift of grace after he was baptized. He was led by the Spirit to a desert mountain, where it was the Holy Spirit who was leading him up for a constant contest with the devil. They go away into the desert give the devil an opportunity to attack him, for it is especially when we are alone that the devil attacks us. He fasts for forty day he fasts for forty days, not exceeding the stand of Moses and Elijah fasting, so as not to give Satan imminently cause to suspect that the Lord was greater than Moses and Elijah, but instead to encourage Satan to uh, attack thinking that he was only man. The Lord also fasts for 40 days so that he would not think that he took flesh and appearance only. He is tempted after his baptism, showing us that after our baptism, temptation waits us. Wait us. He fasts to teach us that fasting is great weapon temptation, and that after our baptism, we too should fast and stop gormandizing. The enemy first assaults him with the temptation of gluttony, as he did also to Adam. Then he tempted the Lord with the love of riches, showing him all the kingdoms of the world. How did he show them? Some say that he suggested the kings to him in his thoughts, but I think that the devil didn't suggest them in his thoughts, but to his senses, making them to appear as a phantasm. But the Lord would not fantasize. Thirdly, the devil assaults him with vainglory. If thou be the Son of God, he says, cast thyself down from hence. He flatters him, while suggesting such nonsense, hoping that the Lord might be deceived by flattery and would want to show that he was the Son of God by throwing himself down. This way the devil would discover who Christ really was. See how the Lord repels the devil with the words of Scripture, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. For a man ought not to throw himself into a clear danger, testing to see if God will help him. Notice also that the great benefit it is to know the scriptures. Even the Lord himself repelled Satan by the means of the scriptures. The, word, the words men shall not live by bread alone are from the books of Moses and were spoken in reference to the man, man ascent from heaven. For manna was not bread, yet it miraculously fed the people. And the words thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and thou shalt attempt the Lord thy God are also from the books of Moses. In the pardon, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.